Hello, welcome again to our Cocoa and Crafts class. This is project number two this month. And for today's project, you're going to need just adhesive and your kit. And of course, don't forget your favorite beverage. So I will see you in the craft room in just a minute. All right, today we are going to work on project number two. It is a card that will hold a gift card. So if you have a friend who loves coffee, you can um, gift them a little card to their favorite coffee shop. Um, we're going to start with a package that's labeled number two. And you will notice inside all of the little pieces for this kit are located inside one of the envelopes. So we have the words, we have the little coffee cups in this one. So I'm going to set this aside. Let's see, envelopes I can set aside. Oh, oh, one of the coffee cups still in there. I can see the light shining through. There we go. Yep, now we're empty. Set that aside. We will need to stamp on our different pieces. And we'll need, I'm going to set these. Come here. Set those there. These I can push off to the side. Hopefully they won't fall on the ground and get lost. So now you have two pieces that are cut kind of funky and in case you want to replicate this I have opted, oh I am trying to see, did I do this? Oh, no I did it right, I did it right. Okay, um, this is the front, this is the inside. Um, I opted not to cut mine second one out yet so I could actually show you how I did it. So um, I'm just going to set my cutter right on top of this stuff so you can see. Yours is already pre-cut though, just so you know. Um, very simple. This is a regular eight and a half by five and a half half sheet of cardstock. It's been scored down the middle right there. And then what I did is this, we'll say this is the front, turned it this way and two and three quarters in right here. I want to score from this score line. Let me move this so you can see. I have to move something out of the way so that this will work. Um, two and three quarters. I want to score from this score line down. So getting my scoring blade. The scoring blade has these little lines on the side so that you can line it up with something. So I'm going to just going to push down from here over and give it a score. So I basically have scored halfway across top to bottom the front piece. Now turning it so that the score line is right inside my groove, I want to cut from the top to that score line that I just made, so halfway down. And again, we've got those little lines to help guide us. I'm just going to push it down until this line lines up with my score. And I may get my head in there so that I can make sure I'm lined up. There we go. And now all I'm going to do is move this over, so I'm going to move over one inch. So move this over so that it's on the one inch line. And I want to do the same thing from the top down to that score line. There we go. And then turning it again. Now basically I want to cut from there to there, from the two cuts that I have just made. And... I'm going to line that up before I push it down. I'm trying to line the line up with my cut. There you go. And then push. And when you have it all the way, it should pop. Oh, I didn't go all the way up. There we go. And I have cut it. So there is our basic, but then we need to do this cutout. Now on yours, I have already cut that out. I used a one inch circle punch to cut it. Um, but I just eyeballed that it was going to, I just laid it on here and then eyeballed it basically in the center and cut. Um, but because I eyeballed it and it may not perfectly match, I have numbered yours. There is a one and a one and a two and a two so that you can line them up. Make sure you get the right one on the right um, card front. Does that make sense? So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to just line. I want to an even, even border around, and then I just line this up here, go part way in, and give it a punch. All right, and so those pieces are ready, and actually I am going to mark mine really quick, 
so that I know which is which. This is one and this is one. So I know when I go to glue it together that this one will fit on this card front and it will line up properly. All right, now for some stamping. We need a day without. So, and I think all of the stamping on this card is all in early espresso. So we're going to open that up and we're going to get out a day without. And there it is. And my blocks. Oh, that's right. I moved them over here out of the way so I could get my cutter in. There we go. And you should have a large, oh, there it is, there it is, large crumb cake rectangle. And we're going to stamp this near the top in the middle area. It doesn't have to be really high. You don't really have to measure. Um, what I like to do to kind of center is the top of your grid paper has a zero. It had, this is actually a centering ruler. So I like to line this up in the middle of that line so I can actually bring it down here if I want to so it's closer to me. But I know that it's in the middle here and I can kind of use this as a centering guide just to help me eyeball that I'm getting it pretty close to center. There we go, we got one. Let me do the other. Is this on the two inch mark? Yep. And second one, there we go. All right, clean my stamp. And now the next one's a little bit tricky. It's not difficult, but it is a little bit tricky. You notice it says we have is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. It's all on one block, and we need to split it up. So to do that, we're going to ink it up by holding it on the edge. Um, you can actually see it from here because it's a photopolymer stamp. You can see that you're just wanting to ink up the very first line of that stamp. See, I have without anything on the bottom there. Now, to do this, I'm just going to hold the word coffee here so that I know it's about that distance and then stamp underneath that. There we go. We'll do the same thing on this one. Got that inked up. Nothing on my other words. Copy. And there we go. That's good. That's done. So now you want to make sure you clean your stamp really, really well before you do the next one so that those letters don't show up. And now we want to stamp, we want to ink the bottom half, the last two lines. I need to get this closer to me so I can really see. There we go. Now I want to make sure this is below the halfway line. So I can actually just take this and kind of stick it there to show me that it's going to be down, down lower as a reference. you don't want this to show when the card is closed. There we go. And oh, oh, let's see if I can do it from this side. Ink that up. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. Okay. Clean up. And now um, in the stamp set there is a little sparkle Ooh, I didn't get my this little sparkle right here and we're just gonna randomly stamp that all over where's my small I don't have a small block handy dandy so we use this one um, and you can you can put these sparkles wherever you want um, I just put three and three on this card here maybe I'll do I'll do a few more I think it looked a little bland or spread them out a little more. I am a messy crafter in case you can't tell. There, I'll just spread that one out. Let's see. Most designers say groups of three look the best, but really um, an odd number would work well. There we go, that's good. 
All right, this part is, oh, wait, not quite ready. Yep, it's done for the stamping. So I'll set that aside and we will finish stamping on this one, these two. Put a couple more sparkles. Um, and I'm gonna hold this here so you can kind of get an idea. Um, two. Maybe I'll put the third one up there on that one. It's a fun part with this. You can just get creative, put them wherever you want. I may even just do like that. These are going to look all different. Okay. I think, yep, I think that's all I need for stamping on that. And I don't want to lose this little guy, so make sure he gets put away right now. And then we need, what's our next, oh, the coffee cup. We need to do our coffee cup. Oh, and steam. So on this one here, what I'm going to do is just hold a coffee cup, one of the cutouts, one of the little silhouettes in the middle, a little bit lower, and then stamp my steam. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. And our coffee cup image. So now we get to stamp this on the little pink cup silhouette. So you should have six of them, three for each card. Three. And again, just like we did on the chocolates last time, you just kind of want to eyeball that it's going in the middle. It's going to have a bit of a pink border all around. There we go. One more. All right. That's good. And now while we have this out, we are also going to stamp. Oh, and I should have done it with the little... Um, sparkle but actually we need to do the coffee cups first so i'm going to just make basically making some pattern paper with this coffee stamp and the little the little star stamp so let's oh i missed one what i did <laughs> apparently i can't count very well there we go that one was pretty high <laughs> okay so randomly stamp a coffee cup um, I kind of like to start in the middle with one and then kind of change the directions a little bit on each of the remaining cups. There we go. Do another one. And make sure on yours that you are stamping, like there's my number one, that you're stamping on the side that doesn't have the little penciled number. There we go. Okay, and then let's fill it all in with our little sparkle stamp again. Grab your little sparkle and just randomly stamp some all over. You can go off the edge. That's what your, your grid paper is for. Protect your work surface. That looks good. Let me do the other one. Oh, and you know what? While I had the coffee mug on, should totally have done the envelope. Oh, I hope you didn't hear that. My stomach just growled. <laughs> oh, wait, one more in this corner. There we go. All right, let me grab my two envelopes, both of those. Get this out of the way. Oh, I'm such a messy crafter. All right, envelopes. 
All right, I'm just going to hold this here to give me an idea of where that's going to go since I have this already on. And I'm just going to put a couple of random sparkles around it. Do the same thing here. Good. All right. Grab my coffee mug. And let's stamp that in the bottom corner. I always like to <laughs> double check, make sure I'm stamping in the correct corner and not upside down. Not that I have done that before. <laughs> all right, so I think all of our stamping is finished. Now it's just time to put things together. So let's close up the ink pad and get out the adhesive. Get our stamp and seal here. And I'm going to start with our big, big um, rectangle that goes on the actual, actually on the inside. Come on. There we go. There we go. And I prefer to go ahead and do both at the same time. There we go. And where's my card base? There it is. Now, your card base. Um, you want the inside, when you're going into the inside, this is going to be on the left, right? Left. Yes. So on the left. So this goes on there and I am an upside down, <laughs> upside down put her on her. I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but I like to measure my, these three borders. It's just easier for me. I guess I could have done it the other way since this card's open like this. But I like to ver verify that I have the same border on those three sides before I put it down. Because once it's down, this stuff sticks pretty well. There we go. So that one's done. Next one. Again, um, that's the inside. I'm going to flip it over and go upside down. There we go. Okay. And then um, if you want to go ahead and fold so that you know where things are supposed to go, fold this one goes in and then this goes in like that. Do the same thing here. Get your bold folder out. Just give that a good crease. Make sure that's lining up properly. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and glue our pink panel to the inside. Stick. And I'm going to put a little bit right here to make sure when they're taking their card in and out that that doesn't come loose just from the movement and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pressure? No. Can't think of it. Oh, 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 I didn't even double check. Oh, yeah, I did it right. Woohoo! This this one has a one, that one has a one. This one's not marked. Kind of line that up. Make sure my my cutout is lined up. Stick that down. Same thing here. My one and my one are getting lined up together. There we go. Now for this part, you're going to want a pretty good adhesive. Um, if you have tear and tape, that's probably your best bet. Um, however, regular adhesive will work. Will work. Um, they're not going to be taking it in and out, in and out. So um, they're really just going to take it out. You just need it to hold it until they get their gift. So what you want to do is put some adhesive just along this edge and this edge. You could actually go all the way down if you wanted, um, but make sure you don't put any adhesive along here and none in the middle area. So I am going to use, I'm just going to use this, the one I have out here, this regular stamp and seal, put some adhesive in. And actually what might even help is to make sure you're, you're getting it. You're not going to have problems later is have, whoops, not a rubber band, a little gift card handy. 
to make sure you're going to be able to fit that in there without any problems with it sticking. And then go ahead and adhere that down. And then there we go. My little card will fit, so that's good. All right, let me do the second one here. Same thing. Get the adhesive towards the edge. Okay, sorry about that. I hope this isn't um, too out of focus or anything right now. My husband actually just called um, to say he was on his way. I didn't realize it was getting that late in the day. So, anyway, let's continue here. We're going to, we're going to stick this on. I'm just going to hold that there and push my adhesive down. There we go. Make sure that's loose. Perfect. Yay. Alrighty. Now let's get our front put on before I lose all the light outside. One, two, a little bit in the middle. One, two, and make sure my steam is facing the right direction. And again, I'm just lining up my three borders before I stick that down really well. There we go. Okay, now grab one of your dimensionals that was in your kit. Um, I'm just gonna grab a whole one for these. One right in the middle. These are like the perfect size for that. And we want regular adhesive on these. And you can use your, your um, tape runner or liquid, whichever you prefer. Actually with something this small, I usually prefer liquid because it's just easier to get on there. But this is working. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get up. There you got it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my, my dimensional one on first so that it lines up with my steam. And then the other two, one on either side, just slightly above it. Ooh, sorry about that. My dog's upset about something. And number two. And guess what, lady? Oh, wait, we're not done. We got to put the word coffee on here. All right. So if you remember from last week's word, um, or last week's, oh, I knew it. I was going to lose one of these copies. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found them. Um, I already have sticky on the back. Uh, <laughs> mine only has a partial sticky on that one. And you're going to go ahead and just take off the backing papers. Sometimes it's piecemealed on there. Come on, come on. And come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, please. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to put this word on underneath the words a day without, but slightly, slightly to the left hand side. So I'm going to start by just getting the C where I want it. I think right here, push that C down pretty well, and then line up. You see these are kind of wobbly, so I'm going to line them up one letter at a time and stick them down where I want them. And it seems to be going downhill, so let's lift that up a little bit. Oh, come on. Where's my pokey tool? that up a little. All right. There we go. And I'm going to need to put a little bit of glue under mine because I didn't have adhesive in that spot. And since this is the bottom one, I want to make sure it's stuck pretty well. Just going to put a little dot. Stick that down. 
Hold on under this one, stick it down. There we go. Okay. Now our other one over here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just can finish this one off. So the next layer is going to be pink. And we're going to remove your backing. Try not to mangle the letters as bad as I did on my my soft suede one. All right, starting with the C, you want to place it down so that it is slightly higher and slightly to the right of the soft suede one we just put down. So then just line each of the letters up slightly higher, slightly to the right, so that that soft suede gives you a little shadow underneath. There we go, and then we're going to do the same thing with the vanilla. Just kind of peel that off and stick it down. There we go. Just giving it some depth and some color. There we go. Looks like it's jumping off the page. All right, now that one is finished. I'm going to do this one. I think putting the first one down is the hardest because you're just trying to get it um, straight. Oh, come on. I know you will come off of there. Maybe. There we go. Yes, this one was definitely piecemealed. There we go. All right, start with the C. Mm, that looks pretty straight. Ah, I got off my fingers. Lift the E's up. Does that look straight? No, now it's going uphill. There we go, there we go, there we go. Got it. Okay, now flirty flamingo. Make sure all your little centers came out. Ah, come on fingers, come on, get off of there. <laughs> Stick down the E's. Let's see, I don't care for coffee. Coffee is not my thing. But I know so many people do. So, And there's so many really awesome coffee places. Um, I'd recommend, if you can, find you a local coffee shop to get the gift card from. Help support some of the local businesses right now. Um, we have a couple of nice ones near where we live. Um, and they usually sell like chocolate drinks too, which is what I like. So there we go. And there we go. Guess what? We have two finished cards. Let me get my trash out of the way. Put my lid back on my glue before it dries up. Ah, there we go. Find where I hid my envelopes. And we have two cards, gift cards, two envelopes ready to go. And these would be great. Give to a friend right now maybe who isn't enjoying um, the colder weather. <laughs> um, someone maybe is having a bad day. Have these on hand to hand out to someone. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to next week's class where we will make, I don't even know which one we're going to make next week. Oh, the cookie one, our cookie card. This one here with a cool little Z fold cookie card. All right. So I will see you then. Until then, God's love and blessings to you and happy crafting. Bye.